Hi everybody, this is the um, auditions natural kind of uh, look that I'm going to be doing today. Um, I give you some helpful tips at the very end. I really hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you all very soon. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take Painterly Paint Pot and um, put this all over my lid and it's going to make the stato shadows stick. Okay, next I'm going to take my depotted um, Milk uh, NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, just depotted. I'm going to put this all over my um, lid to brow, but mostly I'm going to focus on the lid area. Okay, so the first color I'm going to put on my lid is going to be with a um, flat shader brush. And this color is from Estee Lauder. I don't know what it's called, but it's this color right here. I'm just going to pat that all on my lid. Okay, so next I'm going to use my... Um, MAC Smoky Eye Palette, and I'm going to use this color, this light one, same brush, and I'm just going to pat that right on the center of my lid. Pretty much just on the ball. <laughs> so my friends like to call it that. And then flipping the brush over onto the clean side, I'm going to use this color, this like silvery kind of cool color. I'm going to pack that on the inside or inner part of my lid. Kind of just blending it in with the other two colors. Okay, so next color, I'm going to take a mixture of this dark purple and this color, this kind of metallic-y brown kind of thing with a 217, just a, a dome brush, fluffy dome brush. And I'm going to put that right in my crease. Hope you can see, I hope my hand isn't blocking, sorry if it is. Okay, so. Next, I'm just going to take a uh, just a fluffy dome brush, or a different fluffy dome brush, and blend that out. A small brush that looks like that, 228 by MAC, and I'm going to take this really dark brown color right here. Tap that off if you need to, and I'm going to look down and just kind of draw a line in the crease. You have to be super neat because you're just going to blend it out again. 217 brush. And you can switch, switch off to get the consistency you like. I guess you just really want that kind of, when you look, that defined, kind of just prominent, you know, brow kind of, or not brow, but crease. Then I'm going to take a, another flat shader brush. This is the 242 by MAC. And I'm going to take some of the depotted um, NYX pencils. Mine's still dirty from Painterly. I need to clean it. And I'm just going to dab the tip of it right into there. And this is going to look really freaky at first, but just bear with me. I'm really just going to draw a line right under my brow. Just like that. So it looks really, really weird at first. But then you're just going to pull this color down. You can even blend it out with your finger. Take the silver shade that we used 
and very lightly, you don't want a lot of this, just dab it under the, the highest part of your arch, and just kind of bring it down. And then again with the fluffy dome brush, just blend it all together. I'm going to put more, same brush, same color, I'm going to put more in here because we lost some. Okay, so then, taking a um, small liner brush, this is the 210 by MAC, and I'm using the um, True Black from Coastal Scents Gel Eyeliner. You don't need a lot of this product because you want the liner to look a little smoky and very natural, so I'm going to do a thin line. And I'm only starting from where my lash line ends. I'm not going all the way in. I'm not going, I'm just going to about here, if you can see. Eh. And now, don't pick up any more product. What you're going to do is you're going to go under your lashes and just make a very very thin line all the way in on your bottom lash line okay now I'm going to add some white eyeliner got this from so it's dirty jeez everything I own is so dirty white eyeliner, kind of tug on the bottom lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. But, would I, every time I go show an audition, every single time, I will use the Petticoat Blush by MAC it is a really, really rosy pink blush with some darker kind of plum color and a gold shimmer. So I just tap that on my um, 187 brush and I'd smile and I brush it on like that and blend it up. So tap, smile, and brush up. Way to put it. So I'm going to apply this lip gloss, or I mean lipstick. It's not too bright, and it's not too, um, you know, soft. I think it's perfect for it complements the look perfectly. And then for lip gloss over it, I um, use Victoria's Secret lip gloss, and the the color is not on here, so it's just a kind of very very dark pink. I don't use a lot, just a little. is a Capizio character shoe. Capizio character shoes are bomb. They're uh, they're flexible so you can dance, have a very short heel and you know good to go. Um, I just got this at Nordstrom's. I wouldn't say is a very good choice but it's not a bad choice either just because it does not have a secure little thing that goes around your ankle or you know it's it's kind of just like open and if you move a lot it'll fall off. Never wear Uggs to an audition. I learned that one the very, very hard way. Just don't do it. Just don't. Don't be a hooker. <laughs> just, it's a bad idea. Just don't wear this kind of shoe to an audition. It's just bad. Bad things will happen to good people. Well, I wouldn't call you good if you're wearing these. I bought these for Halloween, so meh. Again, don't be a hooker. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, I don't even need to explain this. And a last and final do, a tennis shoe. You can never go wrong with any type of tennis shoe. It's cl uh, closed toe, has some lace, your foot is secure in it, so 
good to go. I'm going to take my hair out because it looks weird. So, I will talk to you all later.